In this video, we're going to attempt to find the equation of a line based on the qualities of the line. Looking at this line here, it's just supposed to represent any generic line. I've marked a couple things on here, generically. First is this point on the left. It is the point that crosses the y-axis, or the number line that represents y. The point that crosses the y-axis, we call the y-intercept, where it intersects the y. As we strictly move up, no left or right, the x-value should be 0, and the y-value is some unknown number. We went up b, I labeled it. If I wanted to calculate the slope, I'd need another point, so I called it x, y, and we're going to say the slope is just m. Well, the way we calculate slope, we've already seen, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equal to m, or our slope. Well, let's plug in what we have on this problem. Let's call this point up here, the y-intercept, point 1. The point down here, the x-y is point 2, so y2 is just y minus y1, which is b, over x2, which is x, minus x1, which is 0, and that is equal to m, or our slope. Well, we can clean up a little bit because x minus 0 is just x, so really that's y minus b over x equals m. And if I wanted to solve this formula for y, so we had an equation, y equals stuff, we would need to clear the fraction out first by multiplying both sides by x. This gives us y minus b equals mx. And finally, we can get the y alone by adding b to both sides, so we would have y equals mx plus b. This is going to be our generic formula for the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. We can use this formula to represent the equation of any line that we know the slope of, and b, we said, was where it crossed the y-axis, or is the y-intercept. If we know the slope and the y-intercept, we can quickly make an equation of the line by replacing m and b with those two values. Let's take a look at an example where we know this important information about a graph, and we're asked to find the equation. In this problem, we're told the slope of the line is 3 fourths and that the y-intercept is negative 3. We just found out that y equals mx plus b is the generic equation of a line. So let's see if we can label this information using these variables we have. This is an equation that represents a line on a graph, so the equation needs to keep the x and y in it. We're not going to solve and get a number like 7. We're going to get an equation that has x's and y's in it. What we want to replace are the m and the b. The slope, we are told, is 3 fourths. We've seen slope before represented by the letter m. The y-intercept is our new point, and the y-intercept is always represented by the letter b. So we take y equals m, or the slope, which is 3 fourths, times x, plus b, plus negative 3 is the same as just minus 3. We now have the equation of a line that if we were to go through all the work of making a t-table and checking points, we would see that 3 fourths x minus 3 has a slope of 3 fourths, and we'll have a y-intercept at negative 3. This formula is an important one to have committed to memory, y equals mx plus b.